Oh, hey, hello, hello, it's Stanley Alliance. It's your girl, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. All about be the girls with the passion for fashion. Ooh, rats. We'll always be there for each other. Ooh, rats. Yeah. Styling how we feel. Ooh, talking about best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. We all gotta plan the dream, take a chance, and believe, make it real. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because baby, I'm literally here all by myself and as you didn't click on this video to watch it. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a simple end screen. I will insert a video of what an end screen is. You probably know. It's photo grid. Yeah, all right. So then when you open the app photo grid, you're going to click on grid, of course. Then you're going to select, if you have an iPhone, you're going to do audio, so whatever. All the extra, and then you're gonna select whatever video you want, and then you're going to put it three times. So the video I'm going to select is this video right here. It's pretty short; it's only two seconds, so my end screen will not be that long. Then you select whatever layout you want. They have a variety of layouts, but I'm going to select this one. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to ratio, and then you're going to click. You see at the bottom right here? I'll put a the arrow pointing down to it, I guess, or whatever. You see it says YouTube. Well, 16 by 9. You're going to click on that 16 by 9. Then you're going to click the check mark. Then you're going to click on photo grid. And then you're going to click the little X or whatever. Because you don't need that. It's extra. Then after that much, if you want to keep the border, if you can. But you don't have to. I do, not, I do not like the border, so I do not keep the border. And then I do that. Then the next step you're going to do is make sure all the videos are in order we're gonna play the sound to make sure well this video already has no sound but i'm still gonna turn the sound off just because on every video because we're gonna put our own sound of course duh. why would we not want to put our own sound then after that i'm gonna click save then you click whatever then it saves to your phone Okay, we got that. Don't, I don't know what that is. Next, we're going to head over to iMovie. Then we're going to click the plus. Then we're going to click that. And then we're going to click on this. And then I'm going to go to my albums because I have an album for all my YouTube stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to click on this little thing right here. Hold on. Then I'm going to click on green screen. I don't know how you would do it on an Android, but this is the way I do it. Then it just plays like that. Then I click done. Then I'm going to click save. Then it's going to export the movie to my camera. Okay. And then I'm going to click the plus again because you can't add two overlays. Then I'm going to click the plus again. Then scroll down to my YouTube album. Then I'm going to click the thank you next thing I put at the end of every video. Then it's going to automatically shape it. Then it's going to look like this. Then I'm going to click say to my camera roll again. It's going to export. Y'all know I'm going to go with the classic intro sound. I'm going to click the plus again, which I don't know why I just didn't add the sound originally, but that's okay. Click the plus in the YouTube category again. And then... Wait, okay, I have three different things. Okay, click this auto only because I want the same intro sound. Then I'm going to um, move the 